So we have now entered the next generation of AI video content. Luma AI just dropped the Luma Dream Machine, which I can safely say has some of the highest quality AI video generations to date. Now to give you some context, the quality of the generations are similar to what OpenAI showcased when they announced Sora back in February this year. Mind you, we're still waiting for OpenAI to announce a release date. But Luma have really made a splash in the AI video generation world, and I'm going to show you guys why. Here's a video I generated of a family gathered around the dinner table. Here's another video of a post-apocalyptic city building overtaken by nature. Or how about this really beautiful video of Paris? Anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to get the best results using this AI tool, and then I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite generations that I I've found so far from the community. Now, this is the website. I want to just quickly show you guys the pricing. First of all, I am on the standard plan, which gives me 120 generations per month and 30 of those are for free. Now, the amazing thing about this is the free option gives you 30 generations per month, which is actually quite generous. Most video generators don't give you this much. So if you guys are going to go play around with this, go play around with it now. Now, I want to show you guys something cool. When you click here, right? It takes you to the front page and boom, just a really nice visual interface, beautiful. So let's click try now, okay? So this is actually the interface guys, where you can see here, you can add text and we can also have the option to upload specific images. And on the right here, it even tells us, I believe how many generations are left or is it? Yeah, it looks like that's how many generations are left. Anyway, we've got two options, text to video and image to video. So let's test out the text to video generation first. I'm gonna provide it three prompts, a small one, a medium one, and a large one, all of the same thing. So you guys can get a comparison of what the generator likes. First generation, let's keep it simple. We'll just go the pyramids of Giza and Egypt. For the medium one, we'll just add a little bit more information. And, here the, and here's the large prompt. All right, this is kind of awkward because this has never happened, but the generator generations have finished. Unfortunately, the small one, I don't know why, but it hasn't generated, it's still generating. But I'm gonna show you the medium and large one, okay? It took about three minutes. Let's click into this one first. So this is the generation. You can see that the walking, the camera motion, and even just the quality of that pyramid looks very realistic and much more detailed than any other AI video generation. So that's already, that's the medium prompt. Let's check the large one now. This is the large prompt. Um, so obviously it's just a different angle, but you can see there it's very realistic. It kind of reminds me of like video quality back in the 90s maybe. So I don't know, very impressed with both of those two. Now, obviously that was something that the world's already seen. We've seen the pyramid. Let's test and see how it does with something that's never been seen before. All right, so the video generations are done. These ones, it was kind of interesting. They all finished at the same time, but they took much longer than the periods of Giza. It took about six minutes. Now, this is the first one. I went with a, f a floating city in the sky. I'll be honest, mm, I'm not really happy with that generation, to be quite honest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that one down. Uh, let's go to the next one. This one's a little bit better. Okay, that's kind of interesting. It's like kind of like a ship flying in as well. Looks okay, but it's not perfect. And then this is the third one. I'm not really, you know, this is, I wrote a breathtaking futuristic floating city. So yeah, it didn't really do good in that example. Now I'm gonna show you guys the different way to use this model. In my opinion, I think this is the more preferred way to use it, which is the image to video motion. Now I used to use Mid Journey a lot, but to be honest, I've actually been using Leonardo AI. It's been producing some amazing images. So I grabbed a, I grabbed a few prompts from ChatGPT to generate me some images. This is the first one. You've got an owl there. It's next to some water. It's actually a beautiful shot, by the way. And the other one, I think I went with this. Got a little bit of underwater action. I think it looks like uh, kind of like Atlantis or Dubai in the background, I'm not too sure. But let's go with these two images. So you just click here and you just wanna to go to where the image is. Let's upload that one. Now it gives you an option to actually add a prompt with the image, okay? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do both those two photos quickly. I'm just gonna do it with no text and we'll do the next example with text. Okay, so what I actually did was I generated the ones at the bottom without no text and the ones at the top, those were a prompt that was provided for the generator. Now, weirdly enough, the two at the top that have a prompt that I generated like 
I generated them after. Those generated first, and then the ones without any prompt, they generated after, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you guys both results, and you guys are gonna be quite shocked at which one would, which one you guys might think would be better. I'm gonna show you guys the one with the prompt and the text first, okay? Let's go with this one over here. So you can see there the owls on the left and this sort of pans out to the right. It's nice, the water's like flowing as well. I, I think it's okay. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys the one with no text, okay? This was just the image itself. Have a look at this. Oh my God. So it's sort of like the generator made up its own mind of how the image should move as opposed to putting a prompt there. So just food for thought guys, like uh, this is actually amazing this show. I'm gonna save this one. Same thing for the Atlantis one. This is the one with the prompt and the image provided. You can see it's actually not too bad. I, I like it as well. Now let's compare it to the one with no prompt at all. But yeah, just as good. I think the fish flow a little bit nicer as well. So if I had to choose between both of them, I honestly would choose the ones with no prompt. Now I'm just gonna show you guys some posts that I have on Twitter from the community. Guys, and if you haven't followed me on Twitter, go check it out and follow me. And this one's kind of cool, it's from Pierrick. It's like a guy, you can see he's in traffic and the cars are all moving around him and his head's moving, his hands moving. This is actually a really good one. This one's kind of cool as well. He's, and this is a cool workflow as well. It's similar to what I do. He generates the image of mid journey. He uses Magnific to enhance it. And then he uses Luma Labs. And I mean, have a look at that Pikachu. That looks literally like, uh, that's amazing. Then we got Kiri, she generated this nice little video and you can see there like everyone's expressions and they're all, it's just, you know what, it's very clean. Here's one from Max and looks like it's um, some sort of AI, AI Norway film, but beautiful. Look at the, like literally look at the um, background there with the waterfall, like, and the water, it's all very nice. Even just stuff like this, like, you know, I think I've generated an image like this and and brought motion to it using just Leonardo, but this is a completely different level. This is just absolutely amazing. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of Luma Dream Machine yourself in the comment section below. Uh, I will leave you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.